This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It's a reaction video. It's a video of opinion. Uh, if it has to do with grammar, I'm going to be reacting to the grammar and its relation to correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar. And if it's not about grammar, then I'm going to be relating to the, reacting to the subject matter in the video. It's never personal. And actually, this video serves a dual purpose, not only for entertainment, but also it's my volition that uh, I help to thicken the skin of viewers these days who seem to get offended by every single little thing on the internet. Also, for those of you who uh, look at such things, what I'm doing with my hands is involuntary. There are no uh, hand gestures or anything going on here except for maybe if I do this, but uh, it's just, you know, speaking in front of a camera, you either have your hands like this, like this, like this, like this, whatever it is. Nothing to do with any type of uh, gesturing. So, again, it's nothing personal in these videos, it's just for entertainment purposes. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. In this Coral Blake Grotto video of opinion, I'm going to be reacting to this video, which was sent to me by a student, with this particular individual right here, which, after looking into it, has some very interesting claims. And as you know, if you're familiar with this channel, or if you're not, I look at things mostly related to the technology known as correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar, a technology that was brought to the public by way of Colin David Eiffelwin Colin Miller, who passed away in 2018. And um, it's a grammar of closure, meaning it's also known as quantum grammar. And if you parse the word quantum, which just means you look up each individual particle of the word in an etymology dictionary and go back to the earliest nativity root meaning of the word, you will find out, get a general sense of what it means. And it means a grammar of closure. One word, one meaning. There are a specific set of rules and mechanics that are used to create a correct sentence structure, which has a mathematical interface, meaning that just like a math problem, um, when you write the sentence forwards, you can also write it backwards, and the facts within the sentence will maintain the same value, forwards and backwards. And if you're interested in learning that, you can check out over 300 videos on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass. I've been teaching that grammar for five years to hundreds of people all over the earth. And certification of that would be my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, go ahead. But for this particular video, we're going to be looking at this individual and their claims and their YouTube channel. And then uh, specifically this very short video right here. So let's take a look at who this individual is. All right. So this is the main page on their YouTube. And right away, right away, I see here misuse of the colon. The colon is incorrect. This says of the commander and of the chief, period. So I guess this is a title this individual is claiming. Uh, but this is not correct sentence structure because correct sentence structure must start with a cause. Just like everything, there's a cause. Because at the end of the sentence comes an authority. And when you go backwards, the cause becomes the authority. The authority becomes the cause. This is not a cause. We don't know what this is. It's a colon space commander. It could be with the, it could be of the, we don't know what it is. He has 594 subscribers, okay? So let's go to the about section and see if we can get any more clues as to what this individual is all about. Let's see. For this, chief hyphen post hyphen master hyphen general and colon space commander. Okay, right there. Do you see the mistake here? So he does start with a cause. For is the cause, F-O-R, but then he has an ampersand, which means and, and then a colon right after the ampersand. If this was to be correct, the colon would be tied up against the C. There would be a space after the ampersand and then a colon commander, and that would be and for the commander. But as it stands, it's of the commander and of the chief. 
And then it has of this world. <laughs> then we have the verb, and then it follows with the possessive, which is correct. 28 of this month, July, with this year, 2020, of the disqualified name. Okay, so we have two particles of negation in this fact, the ED and the DIS. With the fraudulent claim of the life hyphen documents, with the mis- Use. Okay, we have vowel in front of a consonant in use. That is a particle of negation. He does correct this. Real, if you parse it, literally means no contract. RE means no, AL means contract. So again, they're using particles of negations in their facts. Blue Thumb Club, one place, particle of negation. So, oh, and the name as well down here, I guess that is the individual's name. And again, it's an incorrect use of the colon. Jason Paul Grief. So what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is a complete adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, uh, YouTube channel. So let's keep that in mind as we go to the video that we're going to, that I'm going to react to. Let's listen to what this individual has to say who makes the claim of commander and chief. Now, this is me coming into this. Um, I seem to remember the name Jason Paul Greaves from a few years ago when I used to participate with online quantum grammar groups. Uh, this individual was in there. I remember um, him sharing a very peculiar method of syntax, which was completely fiction based from my knowledge. Had nothing to do with with uh, this back here. Um, it had to do with fiction concepts of what those are and not the complete correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, closure of what conjunction is, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, position, lodial, fact. It was something anyways. And I remember, as it said right here, Blue Thumb Club, that he did start that because I, I i don't know i guess he must have you know it was very similar there was a lot of clubs out there there was red thumb clubs there was purple thumb communities and blue thumb clubs so i seem to remember this after i mean before i extricated myself from all of those soap operas and dramas so here we go let's take a look at the video and see what this individual has to say hello guys um as most of you are aware most of you are aware is he talking about his 594 subscribers let's find out let's find this video here it is this video was posted four days ago by today's date which is the 5th of july and it has 43 views so is he talking about most of the 43 viewers? Because he certainly can't be talking about the 594 subscribers because most of his subscribers don't know based upon his, his views of this video. Um, the beginning of the year, we had a civilian action plan um, called Cat 22 Civilian action plan. So I guess that's what he means by CAP-22. This is an abbreviation. This is not correct with correct sentence structure knowledge because it's a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word. Action is no contract. Not only is it a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word, it's a vowel in front of two consonants. Um, the majority of it has been actioned and done. Uh, actioned, past tense. Um, the other points are now the global briefing has the new command structure in place and all claimants regardless of positions have the opportunity uh, right now to join the correct sentence structure communication party syntax live website which i have to guess is his website that he is commander in chief of and again he must be speaking to his 594 subscribers and Operate in complete correctness. 
And again, I have to guess what he means by operate in complete correctness is that you're correct with whatever he's doing that you've subordinated yourself to as he is your commander. So the 594 subscribers or whatever have subordinated themselves to this individual as their commander in chief. And if you do that by his rules and terms and conditions, then you are correct with that. However, it is not correct with the mechanics of correct sentence structure as I've just shown you in numerous examples on his uh, YouTube site. If you fail to operate under the title four flag, which I hold, then you'll be given. So he claims to hold the title four flag. This is very interesting. So holding a correct sentence structure flag, I mean, I can hold a correct sentence structure flag as well as you can. All right. So that, that's a claim anyone can make. Really, you can hold it in your hand physically, of course. If he's talking about some sort of ownership of the flag, then based upon his grammar, I would have to say that, I mean, he can make whatever he claims he, he wants. But as far as having some sort of authority with this flag, not so much because as he obviously does not have closure on the grammar based upon his grammar performances on his website, which I just showed you. So while this may work for his 594 subscribers, um, it's not going to work for anyone else uh, as far as holding a flag. Anyone can hold a flag. And if you have the knowledge and closure, you are your own authority. Not him, not anybody else with colons and, and hyphens in their names. You are. That's what I teach on my YouTube channel and to my confidential students, how to become your own authority. You don't have to be beholden to any commander or chief. You would then be the commander in chief of your vessel using the correct sentence structure flag if you have the knowledge to do so. Because there is no correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar claim on that flag or the copyrights to that flag. I haven't seen it. If anybody can produce it, do it. I would love to see it. Because I have seen Colin Russell having J. Colin Goulds. Uh, public documents, those are not correct with in compliance with, with the grammar rules that Colin David Eiffelwin, Colin Miller set out. I've even seen Colin David Eiffelwin, Colin Miller's constitution to the flag, and that's not correct. So that is why this flag is, you are capable of using it if you have the knowledge to do so. I have done so for five years and been successful 100% of the time, never had any problems with it or giving closure with it. There is no danger, no matter what someone tells you or threatens you with or whatever. If you have the knowledge, you're the authority. Not this guy, not me, not some other guy. You are. Um, you'll have your duty removed regardless of your position. And that goes, so yeah, regardless of position, if you fail to operate in correctness and... If you fail to operate in correctness, in compliance with his rules, whatever he's doing with his construct, this is what he's talking about. He's talking to his 594 subscriber base. Continue to chase the fiction, then you're going to have your duty removed. Simple as that. Um, and that will be seven days. So your violation, you'll be warned. You'll have seven days to stop and correct. If you don't. And that's what will happen if you don't then that's what will happen you have seven days to correct this now now we're going to get into some briefly some postal mechanics here to make a correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar document contract postal vessel court venue using the rules of correct sentence structure the basic mechanics which this man shows no evidence of knowing also flag mechanics, which this, again, man shows no evidence of knowing. Postal mechanics. 
you must send it through the postal stations using those clerks, using 12B7 through 12B1. Summary corrections. Rules of civil procedure. Okay? This is the way it's done. You don't do it through a YouTube channel <laughs> wearing a t-shirt in your living room. I'm just being cheeky here. But I'm also being serious. It's not done through a YouTube channel. This individual has 43 views on this YouTube channel for this video. And he has 594 subscribers. In order to do this with correctness, as he says, he would have to send out a letter. A correct set and structure document contract postal vessel court venue to each 594 addresses to give notice of what he's doing. Send this CAP 22 document so that they know what the hell he's talking about. Because as it stands, I'm just looking at this with fresh eyes. I have no idea what he's talking about. I don't know what a CAP 22 is. I've seen no notice of it. So <laughs> these things must be done with rule one, rule equal, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, in order for correct sentence structure principles to take effect and be performed with. And now again, I'm using adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, plain English to convey these things. But I can't stress this enough, being correct about things. You can't force people to do things. Contract is by consent. So that is why I'm saying, listening very carefully to what he's saying, that he's referring to his followers. Whatever people believe or buy into whatever it is he's selling, it's for them. It's not for anybody else. Because I think that is what the individuals who brought this to my attention, that what they're talking about, why they sent it to me, because they're like, oh, is this, is this right? Am I, am I going to get, you know, am I going to get my duty removed? Am I going to be disqualified or canceled? This has nothing to do with you. If, you're, if you are your own authority and you have closure on correct sentence structure, there is no one else, not him, not me, not anyone else, who can control you. It's as simple as that. You can use the flag. Use the postal mechanics. Use your own document contract postal vessel court venues and do what you have to do as long as you aren't harming anyone else or trying to force someone else to do something they don't want to do. It's very simple. And that goes for anyone. Anyone with a duty. Um, the other part of CAP 22 is the flag states of conveyance. Um, so all claimants must undergo formal command to obtain the Universal Postal Union's identification number to enable you to operate within the system. Enable you to operate within his system. Um, using your claim of life. So all claimants must complete a free conveyance to prove they understand the flag state serve the flag state they're under and what it entails in its entirety. If you can't or you're still learning, that's that's fine. But this is aimed at people who completely are aware of the structure and the system and how to convey and still keep messing things up. So you've been warned, like it's very, very simple this and I'm tired of having to repeat myself and and just I'm just tired in general of the nonsense. Um just people not listening. So So now we come to the core of the matter. This individual is tired of people not listening to him. He wants people to listen to him. So maybe he's looking to expand his subscriber base or maybe the subscriber base just isn't doing what they're told. Um, unfortunately, the majority of his subscriber base have not even seen this video, so I can kind of empathize with his, uh, with his frustration. This is what's going to happen, um, and that's final. So, but yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks. And there you have it. 
So that was a very interesting video. Uh, thank you to the student who sent that to me. It was certainly uh, fun to go through. But again, as I'd like to point out, this is not correct sentence structure. Uh, this title and all the things that he's claiming pertain to the 594 subscribers and specifically to the 43 viewers. Um, other than that, has nothing to do with anyone, anyone else. If you choose to come under his authority, that's up to you. Uh, I'd never, you know... <laughs> If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you can go over to my YouTube channel. It's uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass. There are over 300 videos on that channel that I've invested thousands of hours in creating so that you, the general public, can learn this technology on your own. By yourself if you so choose so that you may become your own authority and be a steward of your own contracts be your own commander be your own chief and then you don't have to be beholden to anyone there is no one that has authority over you unless you grant them that authority period end of story that's how it works and of course if you want to apply for a confidential workshop and fast track your learning with me as your guide and tutor you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, which should have been screened on your video. Oh, wrong way. Over here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture. For the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.